Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. This week's essential pick, which we just showed, Bullet, with Steve McQueen as a cool San Francisco cop, gave us our theme for the rest of the night, Movie Tough Guys of the 60s. Well, our next film is also set in part in the city by the bay, but the tough guy at the center of it is not an officer of the law, but he's a very cool fellow. He's Lee Marvin, and the film is Point Blank, crime drama from MGM in 1967, also starring Angie Dickinson, Keenan Wynn, and Carol O'Connor. Carol O'Connor four years before he first played Archie Bunker on television. Now at this point, Lee Marvin was a bona fide film star and an actor at the top of his game, fresh off winning an Academy Award as Best Actor for the 1965 comedy Cat Baloo. Well, the same year he made our movie Point Blank, he also had a huge box office success with the film The Dirty Dozen. And Lee had first read the screenplay for Point Blank while he was in London filming The Dirty Dozen. He'd be given the script by British director John Borman, who'd recently made his directorial debut with a comedy called Having a Wild Weekend. And he had his hands on the script of Point Blank, hoping to direct it as his next project. Well, from the moment Borman and Lee Marvin were introduced, the two guys hit it off immediately. Lee also liked the script for Point Blank that Borman had brought with him, liked his ideas, and agreed to make the film. Well, with Lee Marvin interested, MGM agreed to finance the project, but they didn't want Borman to direct it. Not of experience, they said. But Lee's new star status allowed him to have approval of who would direct him in a film, and he said he'd only do this movie if John Borman was at the helm. Not only that, but Lee, who had it in his contract, final approval of everything, like the script, the cast, and the technical crew, gave that authority to Borman, an indication of the faith that Lee Marvin had in this relatively new director. And it's a decision which paid off handsomely for everybody. Lee Marvin, in fact, liked the experience of working with Borman so much, he also made his next film with him as well, a movie called Hell in the Pacific. After that, Borman went on to direct such top-of-the-line movies as Deliverance, Excalibur, Hope and Glory, and many others. But here from 1967, Point Blank. <laughs>